Meet Sedan. He's one of the last of his kind, the only male northern white rhino left on the planet. And at his home in Kenya's old Pajeta Conservancy, this precious pachyderm is under 24-hour armed guard. Kenya's the last stop on the Elephant Ignite expedition. It's been an amazing journey through the breathtakingly beautiful country. And today, the team rise with the sun to prepare themselves for a once-in-a-lifetime encounter. We are at Old Pajeta Conservancy, which is home to the last three remaining northern white rhino. I think it's going to be a massively emotional day today. I feel emotional already just talking about it. Just a few decades ago, thousands of northern white rhinos roamed the jungles of Central Africa. But civil war and the demand for rhino horn have driven them to the brink of extinction. These are the last survivors. Fatu, Najin, and Sedan. My name is Zakaria. Um, I work for, for Old Pejeta Conservancy, and I've been working here for about uh, 15 years now. I work with the northern white rhinos at the moment. I'm the head keeper of this northern white rhino. Zachary is tasked with caring for this gentle geriatric, and for him, it's the best job in the world. Good boy. This is my lovely rhino. <laughs> Sedan was transferred to Old Pajeta in 2009 from the Czech Republic's Tvorkralov Zoo, along with three other northern whites. Sedan had sired two babies during his stay at the zoo and scientists hoped that the natural environment at the Conservancy might stimulate the critically endangered animal to mate again. But Sedan's low sperm count and weak legs meant the attempts were never successful. He's 43 years old, of which he has exceeded life expectancy. Normally, rhino live up to 40 years in the wild, but Sudan is 43, of which that's good age for, uh, for, for, for him. If he was a human, he could have been aging 90 to 100 years. Sedan now spends his time at Old Pajeta educating visitors. He's a tragic example of what's happening to our planet's wildlife every day. I hope uh, nothing else very destructive in the whole world uh, like human beings. Animals, they're, um, they're unpredictable, but they can't hurt anyone. As you see, I can sit next to him. He's a very gentle rhino. So it helps me to um, educate more, uh, many people as I can to save uh, these animals. Meeting Sedan was an unexpected honor for the Elephant Ignite expedition team. They entered the boma hesitantly, well aware of the gravity of this encounter. It was a very somber group of people who walked into this boma. You, you can't describe how, how big he is. And I think trying to compare him to, to the, the southern white rhino that we know so well, the horn on his face is absolutely massive. The, the diameter at the base of the, the horn, you, you just can't believe how, how big this is, even though they have, for his safety, they have, they have kept it short. He also has very fluffy ears, which is a comical side to this massive prehistoric beast. One by one, we were able to go up to, to Sudan and to touch him and to pay our respects to him. And there wasn't a dry eye from any of us. It was the most overwhelming feeling of just disappointment in the human race. How we have let it get to this. And I think every fiber of my being, I was just apologizing, apologizing to the species that we have let down so terribly. Kenya's Old Pajeta Conservancy isn't just home to the last northern whites. It's providing sanctuary to numerous threatened species and working hard to educate communities on the value of our planet's wild species. There's so much more to the work they're doing. It's not just about the northern white rhino. It's about conservation. It's about community work. It's about anti-poaching. They're an incredibly well-run organization. The passion we saw from the team on the ground was 
unbelievable. There are ongoing attempts to resurrect the northern white rhino using groundbreaking IVF technology, but it's more than likely that Sedan, Najin, and Fatu represent the end of the road for this subspecies. For the Elephant Ignite expedition team, it's a devastating reality, a terrible foreshadowing of what could happen to the continent's elephants. It was incredibly emotional for each and every one of the team members because to look extinction in the face, it's, a, it's an emotion that I can't even describe to anyone. It was a very emotional day for the entire team. And I think it was quite an eye opener for all of us that this is what could happen to our elephants. This is what could happen to our rhinos, our wild dog, our pangolin. I think it just made us all, all the more determined to never let this happen again. We have to step up, we have to do our duty, and we have to protect our animals. Stay tuned for more epic adventures from the Elephant Ignite expedition as the passionate team of all-female explorers meet the heroic hounds tasked with protecting this special crash of rhinos.